Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today we will be taking a look at two products. One, the Force Wallet, the other one, Click. Let's get started. So guys, let's play a game of imagination. What I need you to think is, a destination, a city that you're going to travel to, okay? And that city is going to be a random city. Here I have like a little notebook with different cities like Zurich, Miami, Vienna, Istanbul, Madrid, Moscow, Dubai, etc, etc. I need you to take it, lift up somewhere, and the city you end up with is going to be the city you're going to travel to, okay? Pretty simple. So just do that right now. Remember that city, I promise I won't look. Now, this is now your destination. Now, imagine you're having a great time at that city you stopped at. And one day you say, you know what, let's go to the casino because you feel lucky. And at the casino, you're playing a simple game of one die rolling. Okay, And the number, at a certain number actually, you are winning $10,000. Now, please take the die and roll it. Whichever number you end up with is going to be that number that you win the $10,000 with. Number four. Now imagine this. You ended up with a completely different city, a destination for you. You went to the casino and you rolled the number four and that's exactly the number you win the $10,000 with. Now is there any way that you could know that you would end up with this city and that certain number? Of course not. But here's the thing. Before I even started, I made a little prediction. And my prediction is inside that envelope over here. Inside that envelope, there is one card. One card only. And it says, New York and the number four exactly matching your choices. So guys, let's get started with the review for the Force Wallet. Now it comes in this great little packaging Inside, when you open it up, you are, of course, faced with the actual wallet and, of course, the link to the instructional video. Let's get started with the instructional video. The instructional video is shot pretty well. You get to learn some great applications you can use the Force Wallet with. And, of course, keep in mind, these are not the only facts you can do with the Force Wallet. You can come up with your own effects, too, like the one you saw me performing. In addition to that, you will be able to learn a bonus effect if you purchase the Force Wallet at Mystique Factory. I will teach you another little application you can do with the Force Wallet. Now, my version over here is the close-up version. There is, of course, also the stage version where you can, like, put bigger envelopes in it. That's the only difference. The workings are pretty much the same. The close-up wallet is pretty much the same size of my regular wallet, which is pretty good, so I can use it really in my back pocket. One thing that I, however, did not really like about this effect is pretty much the name, okay? Let me put it that way. It is called the Force Wallet. However, it's not really a wallet because the only thing you can really put inside are the actual things that you will use for the trick. So there is no place for change, credit cards, or like for your money. Really, it's just something that you can use for this effect only. So you can't really use it as a everyday object. So keep that in mind before purchasing it. The quality of the wallet, however, is pretty amazing. You can see on the screen, um, it is very well made. It is very well constructed. Inside, when you open it up, there is like this little clear strip where you can like place the things you want to force in it, which is a great add-on to the actual wallet. Now with the Force Wallet, you can force up to three things, which is pretty good. Of course, you can use it to force only a single thing to you, which makes it like something that you can use for different effects that you can come up with. Also something um, that I like is the actual method, but the only downside the method brings with it is the fact that the wallet is not very thin. All in all, I do really like the Force Wallet. It is easy to perform. It is very well built, so it looks pretty good. It is not too big, which is 
pretty awesome so you can really carry it and it won't look like suspicious so all in all i do really love the first wallet you can check it out at mystique factory the link is in the description but now let's get started with click so guys here is now the review for click by agus chi you might have noticed no performance for this one. The reason is pretty simple. Even though it is, of course, performable, I didn't really want to perform it like to the camera as I thought it might give away the actual secret. So to prevent something like this from occurring, I decided not to perform it. It comes in this little packaging. This is like the type of packaging I'm not used to by Agus Chu. This is like sort of the Michael Shetlow style of packaging that I'm not a big fan of. But still, everything you need is in there and it is protected. Inside, you of course get the link to the instructional video. Uh, you can understand everything. It is not Agus Chiu himself teaching it, it is someone else. I can't remember who it was. You learn really everything you need to know to perform this. Everything is covered, so not much to complain about this one either. Inside, you get two gimmicks, which is pretty good. One of them is the Two of Spades reveal, the other one the Six of Clubs. So you have two gimmicks to go with this effect. The gimmicks are very well made. They are like bicycle stock, if I'm not mistaken. And it is actually pretty simple to perform. The actual gimmicks are, of course, not really examinable. Even though the spectator is holding the gimmick card to the camera, that's pretty much the maximum the spectator can do with that card. He can't really examine it by looking and also not by touching the whole card. So both ways, it is gimmick that can stick to the eye. Now the actual effect can really be performed with the spectator's phone, so you can use their phone to take the picture, which is of course making this whole thing more impossible. Something that you have to take care is uh, with the lightning. As long as the lightning is not perfect, you will have troubles with the picture you end up with. That's the only thing that you really have to take care of. If your lightning is bad, the picture will be bad and it will be revealing something that you really do not want to happen. So as long as you are not sure if the lightning is correct, don't perform this because you will end up with pretty bad pictures. So keep that in mind. The reset time with this is pretty much instant. Once you have your card back, you can perform it to someone else. Or of course, you can perform it to the same spectator as you are supplied with two gimmicks, which is pretty great. Overall, I do really like Click. The actual method behind it is pretty simple and it is self-working actually. And also like the buildup from having a card selected to having the spectator hold onto the card. Like the whole sequence is pretty easy to manage and you are being taught how you can do it. You can of course come up with your own handlings too, but it is pretty simple to perform, which is of course a plus point for click. One little thing that I'm not a big fan of is of course the fact that the card that changes into a different card is like not a contrasting card. You have like the three of spades changing into the two of spades, or I believe the eight of clubs into the six of clubs. So it's not like a contrasting card. And that's my little problem with it, as it doesn't make it really a very visual effect. And you might be familiar with that case of the spectators not remembering their cards. And if you have like these similar cards, like the six of clubs and the eight of clubs, the spectator might forget their card. And even when you reveal the wrong card as theirs, they might say, oh yeah, that was mine, even though it wasn't, they just forgot about it. So that's the only downside of it. However, I have to say, they can't really do much about this as the method really can't do anything against that. Okay, let me say it that way without revealing what it is. So guys, these were basically my reviews of the Force Wallet and Click. Both are great amazing effects. They both have also like little downsides as you could hear in my reviews, but still the downsides don't really make this too like bad effects. I'm pretty sure most of you will have uses for it. If you like them, go ahead and check them out at Mystique Factory. You can use a coupon code that you can see on the screen right now to get 5% off your order. Also keep in mind, uh, as Mystique Factory has headquarters in Europe and in the US, you will guarantee yourself the quickest delivery time. But that's been sad, that was quick, and the force wallet, and I hope to see you next time.